Some Windows users have encountered a situation where their operating system crashes unexpectedly and displays the dreaded blue screen of death. There are various underlying causes that can result in a crash, and the system will report different error messages and information. Among the blue screens, your PC ran into a problem and needs to restart we're just collecting some error info, and then we'll restart for you. You can't boot Windows and see your PC did not start correctly in some cases, your PC will restart and prepare a startup repair automatically after the error message appears, resulting in the your PC did not start correctly screen. Here you can see two options, restart and cancel options. When the automatic repair screen appears, restart the computer by clicking the restart button. After restarting, your computer will turn on again, Windows will show the logo again, and the computer will shut down again with a blue screen. As soon as you restart, by pressing F2 or Dell button, first you go to BIOS settings. BIOS settings will depend on your motherboard manufacturing, F12 may be to go to BIOS settings. First you go to the peripherals section, when it comes to BIOS settings. Then press down key, go to SATA configuration. Enter the SATA configuration by pressing enter key. After entering, then you go on chip SATA type. After clicking on chip SATA type you can see three SATA modes like native IDE or RAID and AHCI mode. Here SATA type is selected AHCI mode, if you have selected other SATA mode here, excluding the SATA mode that will be selected here, you select another SATA mode, my AH. CI mode is selected from the previous one, now I will select native IDE mode, you. Select another mode such as RAID mode. After selecting the native IDE, you can save the BIOS settings by pressing F10 key on your keyboard. If you have the same problem, after selecting the native IDE, then change the another SATA mode and you will see that the problem will be solved. Before you fix it yourself you must know about computer and after watching this video if computer is any other problem then it is your fault. I hope this video helped you. Please share it with your friends also. If you have any doubts related to this, let us know in the comment box below. If the computer is still the same problem, be sure to visit a computer expert or a nearby computer repair shop. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel.